Parte 2. Debido a que la pesca industrial del atún se estaba volviendo insostenible y varios delfines morían innecesariamente, en 1998 se creó el Acuerdo sobre el Programa Internacional para la Conservación de los Delfines, cuyo objetivo era que los barcos atuneros durante las faenas de pesca se realizaran maniobras para liberar a los delfines que hayan quedado atrapados dentro de la red. De esta forma se certificaban con este sello, así la gente sabía que el atún que estaban consumiendo fue pescado de manera sostenible y que ningún delfín murió durante las faenas. A esta causa se fueron sumando organizaciones no gubernamentales, como por ejemplo el IMMP, que sacó su sello propio. De esta forma surgieron los distintos sellos que podemos encontrar en las latas de atún y cualquier producto derivado del atún. Sin embargo, a lo largo de los años han surgido varias controversias sobre la efectividad de este sello. De hecho, hay países que no se certifican porque no lo encuentran necesario. Estas controversias continúan hasta hoy en día. There is another visual phenomenon that looks similar to floaters, but is in fact unrelated. If you've seen tiny dots of light darting about when looking at a bright blue sky, you've experienced what is known as the blue field entoptic phenomenon. In some ways, this is the opposite of seeing floaters. Here you are not seeing shadows, but little moving windows letting light through to your retina. The windows are actually caused by white blood cells moving through the capillaries along your retina surface. These leukocytes can be so large that they nearly fill a capillary, causing a plasma space to open up in front of them. Because the space and the white blood cells are both more transparent to blue light than the red blood cells normally present in capillaries, we see a moving dot of light wherever this happens following the paths of your capillaries and moving in time with your pulse. Under ideal viewing conditions, you might... ...tak belalang kan? Dia akan keluarkan cita air macam cita air hitam daripada mulut dia. Antara kamu semua, apa yang belalang tu buat dipanggil sebagai defensive regurgitation ataupun bahasa mudahnya adalah dia tengah muntahkan balik apa yang dia makan dengan harapan Ia orang akan terlepaskan dia baik dia macam Oh what's that warna hitam tu And jangan risau dia tak bahaya langsung Tapi itu tandanya belalang tu tengah stres So lepaskan dia sian dia Whoever has told you that humans are no longer evolving is simply wrong Populations are always evolving I'm going to explain this to you by using the Beijiao people this population is very reliant on the sea for their resources. They spend at least five hours a day underwater. They dive 250 feet deep. They can hold their breath for 13 or 14 minutes. That isn't something most of us can do. So people used to wonder, is this a genetic change or are they just so good at swimming because they rely on it? Thanks to this study, we now have an answer. You see, this population has a mutation that affects the size of their spleen. On average, their spleens are 50% larger than surrounding populations. We see mutations to the spleen accumulate in marine mammals because they hold red blood cells, and when diving, they can release those blood cells and release more oxygen to the person. Populations still evolve, they're just all sapiens. You think you're taller because your facial features are higher up on your face so that your eyes are looking down, but my head's higher. That's That kind of makes sense. It's not true, no, but it that, makes sense. Not, like the explanation not how it makes works, sense. Bro. If I'm looking biology, down. That makes sense. I was today years old when I found out. So, what can you do to help get that THC out of your system? There has been a study that suggests zinc is an effective urine adulterant, which can produce a false negative test result. The tests indicate that if you take a zinc supplement, that has the potential to interfere with urine test results for between 12 and 18 hours. I, I don't know when. You've charmed me. Yeah? You've got the job. Animals done, next thing is hard. Cell will vacuum, chloroplast. Those three there are specific to plants. Photosynthesis is the heart. Takes in light and CO2 combines to water, then makes food. Chlorophyll is where this brews, along with glucose comes O2.